The applicant is Richard Giles. <clears throat> Lot size is 40,375 square feet at 25 Dogwood Street, Hither Woods, map number 3520, lot 104 Montauk, tax amount number 300-67-3-4. To construct a 540 square foot pool house non conforming to the maximum allowable gross floor area. One variance of 340 square feet from 255 11 23 of the town code. Required to construct a 545, pardon me, 540 square foot pool house with plumbing where 200 square feet is a maximum allowable and any other relief necessary. This is in a, uh, a, an A uh, residence um, zoning district. Flood zone is X, secret class is two. And council, I believe, has this on for your review. Next photo is I'm um, just looking across on the driveway. If you stand on the driveway, and I guess you're just looking west, uh, westerly um, towards the vegetation that exists on the property uh, from the street. Next photograph, I'm now coming towards uh, the garage area. The um, Proposed pool house, you can see where it's located uh, regarding uh, the garage area on the survey, uh, somewhat behind it, and, and kind of would be in a bit of a view from, from that uh, location. Next uh, photograph I have is the, you can see the proposed uh, as-built pool, the pool area, um, and the area of the patio, and then the pool house. Right now, uh, on the left side of the picture, there's that wooden, looks like a signboard, but actually what that is, is the, uh, it's the pool equipment's right behind it. Uh, next photograph, and that's just looking, uh, showing the existing slopes on the property. You see the uh, pool patio, and then the piping from the pool to the, the uh, uh, pool equipment area, and, and these are, uh, it's just a photograph noting the slope on the property and that's the uh, pool equipment um, which is not part of uh, what's in front of us tonight and now I'm standing in an approximate area of the uh, pool house um, partially and just showing the uh, structures that will be in front of it on the street side and then I'm um, just a general uh, photograph of the other um, structures that are being built and existing structures that are on the property um, now there is um, there is some topography um, going back uh, also towards the uh, neighboring house that would be most affected. Um, that uh, would it, this property is higher on the street and then the property is going down the street slope down a bit um, as you go east. And that's it. Okay, thank you. Kate. Take that. You mentioned that. Okay. Just such a good evening. <clears throat> I'm George Sosa, the architect of record of the church. Um, could we you spell your last name, sir? Sorry. sorry. I'm going to ask you to speak up closer, just close to the microphone. And if for Denise, spell your name, your address, too, please. Thanks. My, uh, my name is George Sosa. I'm the architect of record. And my address is in Wigwamu Lane. I'm sorry, can he spell his name yeah. for the record, please? It's it's J, you, if you could spell your first name. And no. Well, I'm George no. now. I used to be George with a J, but now it's George. George, G-E-O-R-G-E. -E. The reason for it that it was very difficult for many people to pronounce the J, you know. Right. Sounds like horse. Right. <laughs> and your last name, just for Denise. George Sosa. It's always safe. Easier. Thank you so much. You think it's yeah. yeah, that's a little. <coughs> that might be a bit better. Anyway, uh, Mr. Giles bought the property September last year and in, uh, involved himself in doing renovation of the existing house, adding a garage, a pool, and a pool house. The location of the pool was the only location that we found that it was possible to have it in there because of the nature of the topography. There is a big hollow in there. 
I think will be very appropriate in terms of if you could, you know, this is this is televised, so if you could just speak up, it would really be helpful because we can't hear you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. That's much better. So the location of the property of the uh, pool house was determined by the need to have some privacy, although the drawback was that it was about 18 feet from the first floor of the house. So the house was totally uh, renovated. We had a garage, and along the construction points, we encountered several difficulties in terms of where location of the garage is now. There was a cesspool in there, so we had to move the cesspool, construct a new one, and now uh, the conditions of the owner is that he has four young girls, and I presume that in the summertime they will involve visitors and people, friends, etc. So 200 square feet pool house would not be that adequate. The concern of the board was in the, in the beginning was to uh, create a nuisance or create uh, something that it would not be pleasing in terms of the uh, looks of the of the pool house being so big. Sorry, I missed that. I think so that, is the size, is this, I'm sorry, is this, when you come up the driveway, it's 18 feet up the driveway, and if you look up, if you go to the picture of the garage, the, the, the I, I, I see that you have the, the, the picture that George has, has driven, has drawn for, mm -hmm. for the pool house. Yes, we do. The actual, it's going to be, it's going to be a simpler construction than that. It's going to be, it's going to have a shingle, exactly the same as the rest of the house. Copper guttering, uh, red cedar siding with classic shingle roof. It's going to have it's going to have a very very slightly slanted roof. We're willing to dig it into. So here, this is the top of this is the garage, and it's a considerable slope down to, mm -hmm. down to where the pool house would start. The, if you see, could you have a picture of the the swimming pool? Mm -hmm. As it comes up, as There's it comes. There's a better one, Beth, than the of the pool house area. Richard, let me. Let there me, you go. Richard, can I just <laughs> let me just jump in for a second? Yeah. Just just so we're clear here. So the town, the maximum square footage for a pool house is 200 square feet, okay, right? Sure. You're proposing one that is almost three times the allowable size, okay? So we really are not too interested in the problems you have with stairs or getting between the pool house and the house. You know, you're here to plead your case. Sure. So why they sh let me just finish. You're here to plead your case why we should, this board should grant you a variance to make a pool house that's almost three times what the code allows when it's rarely been done in the history of the zoning board. So I'm can you focus on that? Yes, absolutely. Um, so what, what, what I'm trying to say is that my neighbor, my neighbor's house over here is lower, right? So where the pool house, where we're planning the pool house to go is in this gully here. So it would run off, so the, 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 literally where the, where the patio for the pool is, it was going to run in, in bluestone, step up a couple of inches, and then run into the pool house. The, the pool house will not be seen from my neighbour this side, will not be seen from the street, and will not be seen from the house below. If, if you're on this property, you cannot see this pool house. Okay, but the yeah, yeah, what see is me from the deck. But you again, we, 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 as Chairman pointed out, we'll do, what we're really looking for you to do is tell the board, present your case to the board why you need a pool house three times as large as the allowable. So, so, so the, the one of the reasons why I wanted a larger pool house, the equipment that you currently see that's out in the open that, that would sit behind the pool house, we wanted to incorporate that into the pool house. Um, in the plan that we originally submitted, it was 18 by 30, which comes out to five, 540 square feet. Literally, one side of the one side of the pool house was a sitting area. Then it incorporated a, 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 a changing room, a, sorry, a shower with a restroom and then a changing room. There's a shower shown on, on your property right by the uh, house, an outdoor shower, uh, right by the two large, propo uh, those walls that exist up. On, on your survey, there's another shower. Yeah, sure, that was uh, two showers. That was, no, there's no shower. When I bought the house, that was a shower that didn't have a CO, so we ripped it out. When, when I, I did a, when I bought it from the last owner, uh, he was going to apply to you for retroactive planning permission. I ended up, yeah, I wanted a, I, I... I just want to be clear if there was going to be one or two showers. There's no, there's no outdoor shower currently on the property. Okay. There was one, which wasn't up to code, so we ripped it out. 
So you're having a seating.